Well, I'm delighted to be joined by a good friend, Sylvie, the Strategy and Business Development Director of Value Retail. Sylvie, thanks very much indeed for joining us again this year. I can't Pressure. believe it's a year since I we know. last spoke. I know, exactly. Madrid. <laughs> no, Amsterdam. Yes, yes. Um, it's been a hell of a year. <laughs> it has indeed, on so many different yes. fronts. Yes. <laughs> a lot in this year's conference, people have been talking pretty much in every single session in one form or another about experience, yep. as if experience has re been reinvented or someone's just suddenly discovered experience. You know, on your side, you've been dealing in experiences for years. Yep. Just tell us a little bit about how you view experience and why suddenly do you think it's the buzzword that everyone's talking about? Well, experience is at the heart of what we do at, at Value Retail in our 11 villages uh, worldwide. Uh, we don't have a, a, a product, but our product is the experience. Um, and so we've always focused on it, but it doesn't mean that what we do today is the same as we did 25 years ago when we started. Um, I think what has made a lot of people uh, refocus on experience, because it should never have been uh, abandoned uh, is is the uh, commodi commoditization to some degree that the convenience and the transparency of internet are bringing. Internet uh, revolution and e-commerce and digitalization of the world is fantastic, but it comes also with certain uh, side effects, uh, and and therefore in order to give the product a greater value, the experience and the emotional content that's with the product itself becomes more critical. Um, and in that sense, um, what we've been looking at in one of the ways that we've been um, trying to respond to that augmented uh, uh, pressure is to bring in hospitality uh, from the hospitality industry, not the retail industry, into what we do and how we work and how we engage with uh, the and customers. And how does that physically manifest itself in one of the villages? So, um, the way it physically manifests itself, the first thing is that, so, so we brought in people that come from the hotel industry, right? Because retail comes from first selling a product yes. and providing services around it, whereas hospitality comes from the well-being of the person and then selling additional uh, products. So it's two different entry points yes. to the customer. So we've brought in those people who have that special view and special angle and brought in several things. So they are the host and concierge that we've deployed within all our villages to provide um, information, support within the retail environment. But there's also the whole transformational change that's within the company having and bringing you know, a new division that's actually, we, everybody talks about digital transformation, we've undergone a hospitality transformation. And how also we engage with uh, our partners, the brands, and collaboration is also, I think, a very important theme in the Congress, uh, because with a world that's going faster, you can't do anything on your own. You never could, but it becomes more important to actually collaborate with the brand. And we've done that with, for instance, again, an, an example of how it manifests itself. We've partnered with Ecole Hôtelière de Lausanne and developed a whole new um, uh, staff engagement program on how to better approach customers when they visit. So it's, it's, it's trying to look at all the different touch points and obviously also now we're moving into how we can improve that as well in all our digital journey so that we're looking at the before, the during physical and the after which tends to be digital again. Now one of the uh, trends uh, certainly in the more slow growing markets has been the increase in the value element of the market. Mm -hmm. You, in a sense, transcend both at the value end of the market mm -hmm. and also the luxury end of the yeah. market. How do those two things meet? Well, it, on paper, <laughs> they, they don't, yeah. but um, somehow they do in, in what we do. And, and that's one of the reasons that we, we, we don't like to be called outlet, mm. because we feel we are sh luxury shopping destinations. And, and interestingly, you know, if you, if you go when we start and you fast forward to now, or, 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 Brand partners also perceive that that now that we are a flagship physical retail experience, um, and I, I think when you talk about contrast, you know, uh, darkness defines light, white defines black. So contrast and opposites do enhance, can enhance each other, and 
because we've wanted to do that from the beginning, from inception of the company, but this is this is you know this is this is becoming stronger and stronger. So we're bringing also art, which is part of luxury because um, experiential and 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 enriching yourself, growing yourself as a person through art, through discovery, through surprise, enhances your emotional connection sure. with the and the experience. Um, so, so that's how that's how we do it. And and now that a lot of people talk about luxury evolving from being very exclusive to now the new buzzword is inclusive, to a degree this is something that we've sort of grown up with trying to do. So it's never perfect, but the good thing is we're always challenging ourselves to find new ways to do it and to make people feel special when they come to us and also feel that they are in a special environment. So it, it's both. President Xi of China has made a big play of uh, China being a fantastic uh, market for Chinese to uh, travel to other countries around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in his uh, um, strategy plan for last year, he said he was going to make it significantly easier for Chinese citizens to get passports. I think it's only about 2 or 3% of mm -hmm. Chinese citizens currently have passports. Yeah. Um, how important is the Chinese consumer to you at the moment and what do you think that's going to be in the future? So we are a luxury destination, so it's no secret to anyone that uh, for luxury uh, businesses, uh, the Chinese consumer is an incredibly important customer, not only because how much they buy domestically and internationally, but also how they influence. Mm. Um, the world in the consumer behavior that are being looked at by so many other uh, nations, including in the West, by the way. Um, so, yes, very important. Um, just to give you... So we have two villages in China, which we've opened as of... The, the, the oldest one is five years ago, and we opened because the brand asked ask us to partner with us and to have our proposition in China. But in, in Europe, um, the, the uh, tourism component of our business is, is huge, uh, and the Chinese uh, is huge within that. Uh, that. So in, in Bister, for instance, uh, two out of three visit Chinese visitors that come into the UK, come and visit Bister. Well, it's amazing, I've <laughs> spent a lot of time in China, and uh, if you ask uh, the average Chinese consumer on yeah. the street um, yeah. what they know about the UK, they say yeah. Buckingham Palace and Bister Village. That's correct. <laughs> We're the second uh, yes. most visited destination after after Buckingham <laughs> Palace. And, and that's why also we... Uh, we uh, unified our 11 villages around, around the world under the, uh, the, the, the brand name, which is a bit long to say, but it's the Bester Village Shopping Collection because it's so well known and so recognized. Uh, and it also defines a certain promise that we deliver in all our villages in a very, in a localized way. So it's not a, a cookie cutting experience from, uh, from Bister, we, we, we feel it's very important to have a, a local authenticity, uh, but people recognise those traits in all the properties we have. Well, hopefully it won't be another year till I see you next, no. but uh, what do you think, finally, the next uh, 12 months is going to bring to us in the, in the wonderful hurdy-burdy world of, our, of our retailing? I think, well, more excitement, that's for oh, sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, I think more integration. I, I believe that uh, more meaning as well, because the, I think we're also at a very um, critical point uh, in terms of the need for companies to engage more with purpose. And I think it's going to create a big shift also in, in a lot of consumer trends. So. Well. Here's to another interesting 12 months. Yes. Uh, yes. Look forward to seeing you joining us. So, thanks yes. very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much for having me.